Where did Laura die? Laura Elizabeth Ingalls Wilder died February 10th, 1957. She was just three days past her 90th birthday. Her husband, El Manzo, had died in 1949 at age 92, and Laura said that since Manly lived to be 90, so would she, and she made it by three days. How many kids did Laura have? Laura and her husband, El Manzo, had two children, a boy who died as a baby and one daughter who lived to be an adult. She was Rose Wilder Lane and was a famous writer in her own right. Are any of them still alive? No, all of Laura's family has passed on now, her immediate family, that is. There are, of course, cousins on the Ingalls side and nieces and nephews on the Wilder side. When did the rest of the family die? After she graduated for the School from the Blind, Mary returned to live with Pa and Ma in their house in DeSmet. They continued to live there together until Pa died in 1902. Mary and Ma continued to live into the house until Ma died in 1924. Then Mary went to go visit Carrie out in Keystone, South Dakota. While she was there, she had a stroke, and Mary passed away in 1928. The next of the family to die was the youngest, Grace. She died in 1941, and then Carrie passed on in 1946. Laura, of course, lived until 1957, and her daughter, Rose Wilder Lane, passed away in 1968. Are any of the descendants still alive? There are no direct descendants of Charles and Caroline Ingalls. They started with five children, baby Freddie, who passed away as a, an infant, Mary, never married, Laura married Almanzo and had Rose and a baby boy who died, in, uh, died as an infant, Rose never had any children of her own that lived, Carrie had two stepchildren but never had any children of her own, and Grace never had any children of her own. So even though they started out with five children, there are no direct living descendants of Charles and Caroline Ingalls today. Laura expert Bill Anderson always says that that makes us their descendants, and I always think that's a really nice way to think about it. Did Laura have any brothers? Laura had one brother, Charles Frederick, who died as a baby. He'd been born in Walnut Grove, Minnesota, but the family was living in South Troy, Minnesota at the time of his death. No one is exactly sure where he's buried. There's a marker, however, at a small church in South Troy, Minnesota. What happened to Mr. Edwards? Nobody exactly knows what happened to Mr. Edwards or even what his real name was. Laura later added a couple other characters uh, to make a mixed character that represented Mr. Edwards towards the end of the series. There is some speculation that he was actually a man named Edmund Mason, who's buried near the little house in the Prairie Museum site in Independence, Kansas, but nobody knows for sure. Did Paul win his bet with the government? He did. He proved up the homestead claim and got clear title, but by the time he did, he was developing heart problems, and he really wasn't able to continue farming. And so they sold the homestead, bought two lots in town, one for a house and one for a garden, and it was at this house in town they lived for the rest of their lives. Did Mary really go to college in Iowa? Mary did attend the School for the Blind, now called the Iowa Braille and Sight Saving School. It's located in Vinton, Iowa. Recently, it stopped accepting residential students, but the building that Mary lived in is still there and is now headquarters for services for the blind throughout the state. Did Laura really live in Iowa? Laura lived with her family in Iowa from 1876 to 1877 in the little town of Baroque, Iowa. Baroque is almost up on the Minnesota border, being about 10 minutes north of Decorah. How did you get interested in Laura Ingalls Wilder? When I was just born, my mother had a friend tell her that she needed to get a set of these books if she had a little girl. And so my mom picked them up at a garage sales and brought me a set. 
and she started reading them to me and both sets of my grandparents read them to me and I'm still reading them today I find something different every time I read a Laura book and I don't know why everyone isn't this interested in her how do I get you to come speak if you'd like to have me come and present a program on Laura Ingalls Wilder, you can contact me at info at trundlebedtales.com. There's more information on my website about what types of programs they have, and if you live in Iowa, funding through Humanities Iowa is an option. Otherwise, uh, just get a hold of me and we'll see what we can work out.